Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Peacock, CEO of Making Space. I'm just here today to introduce you to the launch of our new strategic plan. This is a process that started back in 2019 where we began to review our vision, our mission and our values. And we did that with the people we support and with the members of our workforce along with the board of trustees. Once we'd co-created that new vision, mission and values, we actually went ahead as a senior leadership team to work with the board of trustees to look at the types of services we deliver, what we think is going to happen in the future for social care and to see where we fit in where all that's concerned. At the beginning of 2020 we were about to launch our strategic plan and obviously COVID had a different idea for us so all of our attention and all of our effort was quickly changed to be able to respond to ensure that we delivered our services to the many people we support across the country safely and also to make sure that our staff stayed safe and well and had everything they needed. So we took a step back, we talked to the board and we decided that although the strategic plan was meant to be launched in 2020 until 2023, we've extended that for a year. But the plan that we prepared does still stand. We are still an organisation that delivers residential care, supported living services and community-based care. The way that we're going to deliver the plan is through four strategic pillars. And the strategic pillars are a little bit like the foundations of your house. It's, it's what hold your house up. So this is these pillars are what hold our strategic objectives up. And there are action plans behind each one of these strategic pillars. So the first strategic pillar is for us to provide co-produced services. And we've made a number of commitments for our services to all have making it real plans by the end of the strategic plan cycle. The making it real plans will involve the people that are being supported in the services and will include ways to measure how things are being made different and how improvements are being made for the people we support. Our next strategic pillar is in response to what's happening in the adult social care world and, and the broader world really and we are committed now to really resourcing and supporting our services to provide digitally capable services so we've invested quite a lot of time in a project called Project Shine and what you'll see is a series of projects coming out of Project Shine that all enhance our digital capability as an organisation and include enhancing the digital skills of our brilliant workforce. Our third strategic pillar is care design for the future so one of the things that we looked at was how people use social care differently and what people want from social care going into the future. And we've made a commitment that we will work with the people we support and with our commissioners and any other stakeholders and we will be designing care for the future that meets the needs of people going ahead up to 2024 and beyond 2024. And then our final strategic pillar is to make sure that we have a dedicated and committed workforce. The social care workforce is so important in this country. In Making Space, we employ just over a thousand people and we have 400 volunteers. What we want to make sure is that that workforce is feeling valued and we can support them in order to be able to provide the brilliant care that we know that they can provide. We have a suite of strategic key performance indicators that we report back to board on a quarterly basis and we have a number of other performance indicators, all of which come together to help us recognise how far we're achieving the objectives that we've set for ourselves. So please visit the website take a look at our strategic plan. I look forward to keeping you up to date with everything that's happening where that's concerned. Thank you.